Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. Tonight we're going to talk about site-to-site -site VPNs with a USG. So, as you know, in the lab we have a couple of USGs, and I've got one of these configured to the cloud key that we've been using, so we're going to continue to use that. But then, uh, my friend Andrew sent me a surprise box with a couple of Sonic walls to try. So this is the smaller of the two. And this is a TZ100. It's a little out of date, but we're going to use it. Um, and we're going to configure that. I literally, I've taken this thing out of the box. And I've, I've had it, I picked it up at the post. And I've had it a couple hours. I took it out, I factory defaulted it. So we're going to go through this. I've never touched a Sonic wall. Um, this model before today and the you know the only real experience I have with those is from a managed service provider you know sliding them in the rack and they would send them configured for voice over IP so this is going to be new uh, you'll probably notice that my video here is a little larger uh, there's a software upgrade I think it looks decent uh, I would also like to thank my friend Dennis for sending a Cisco ASA 5505 you're gonna see some videos on that as well in the meantime, oh, you know what, too, and I want to thank, there were some people that donated via uh, PayPal, sent me an email and asked how they could donate via PayPal, and if uh, the link is not on my channel up there, uh, I will put it in the comments if you're interested in that, and of course, uh, my Amazon links are also going to be down there. So let's get to the configuration. Okay, so... Like I said, I factory defaulted this, so we're going to log in, and the default username is admin, and the default password is password. In a real network, you would, of course, change that. So you can see this sonic wall, you know, the password hasn't been changed, logs aren't sent because we don't have an SMTP server over here. You can have some VPNs, unlimited nodes, it's not registered, serial number, all that good stuff. This is, you know, I get this on the internet. This is literally the most I've ever played with one of these devices. And I'm actually finding it, it's it's kind of nice. So um, I may look for a uh, used one for the lab or if Dell's feeling, you know, if Dell is feeling charitable and they want me to do videos. I'm going to do more videos on these. Andrew, both Andrew and Dennis told me to take my time with the devices and make as many videos as we want. So if there's something specific you want to see, you know, throw it down there. But this is the device, and real quick, let's pop up our, uh, I hope you like this um, particular drawing. I, I did this for you. For, for you. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of hand drawing on here, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So right now my PC is at 192, 168, 168, 237. It is connected to the Sonic Wall, which has a default IP address of 192, 168, 168, 168, slash 24. I did put the static IP address on the WAN interface when I ran through the setup wizard of 10.10.10.2 and its default gateway is 10.10.10.1, that's the ISP out here. Then over on the other side where the USG is, there's uh, the, the ISP for the USG is 172.16.1.1 connecting to the USG on its WAN interface at 172.16.1.2 and then the LAN network is 192.168.1.1 slash 24. The network itself is actually 1.0 slash 24, but the interface on the USG is .1. And then there's a switch behind the USG, so you'll see when we pass that traffic. So let's hop over here, and we're going to hop down to VPN. And... Site-to-site -site VPN policies, there are zero. So let's add one. On this first screen, we're going to do site-to-site. -site. It'll be IKE using a pre-shared secret. That's good. So we'll call this 2USG. And we'll put the WAN interface of the USG in here. We'll unmask the secret so you can see it. So this is our pre-shared key 
Uh, local address is 10.10.10. By the way, like I said, this is the first time I've ever done this, so we're going to see if this works. 10.10.10.2, and then the peer will be 172.16.1.2. We'll go over here to network, local networks. Choose local network from the list. LAN primary subnet. I think is what we want there. Remote networks. We will create and if we so we'll click this name. We'll call this uh, remote LAN zone assignment. Network be 192.168.1.0.255.255.255.0 for a class C. Zone assignment is default LAN. I'm going to leave it at that for now. If we have problems, we may come in and take a look at that. We'll come over here to proposals. And see main mode and by default the USG I think uses a different Diffie Hellman group so we'll change that we don't use triple des I think it's one AES 128 by default so I'm doing this by memory so we're gonna hop over to unify and configure the other side here in a minute uh, we'll change this SHA-1 that all looks good so we'll go ahead and we'll save that and we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring up a ping to 192.168.1.7. That's the switch on the other side. So it looks like we've got this and it's enabled. So let's hop over to Unify. And you can see that here's our sonic USG is what I called that when I readopted it um, if we uh, and then I called the site sonic wall but when we hop over to the lab there's the switch so we're gonna go back over to our sonic wall side here go to settings and networks we're gonna create a new network we'll call this to we we'll call this Sonic VPN. It'll be site to site, IPsec. We'll enable it. We'll add a remote subnet 192.168.168.0. The peer on that side will be 10.10.10.2. .10 Local is going to be 172.16.1.2. Pre-shared key. Um, let's see. Yep. So this is all looking pretty good. We'll uncheck the perfect forward secrecy. And we're going to get into that in some uh, security video, Security Saturday, what perfect forward secrecy is, why we use it. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. And in theory, as soon as the USG readopts, I think this should come up. Go over here. And ping's not looking good. We're still provisioning. You know how anxious I get when the USG is provisioning. Or any Unify equipment for that fact. And if I look like I'm squinting, I have a killer headache tonight. So I, I apologize for that. While we're waiting, uh, while we're waiting for the provisioning, I do want, once again I want to take 
uh, just a second to thank all of the viewers, all the subscribers, everybody who comments. I think we're making things on this channel uh, open and we're, you know, we're doing a lot more technical things and I really like that. So thank you again. All right, looks like we're connected. And there it is. So it came up. It It is literally that easy if we refresh the sonic wall. There it is. We can see that uh, the, the tunnel is up. So that is a quick, dirty way. And we can change, you know, we can go in and change these settings. And maybe we'll do that in another video. But for now, this is up. We've got the green light on the sonic wall. And just when you thought you were going to get away without getting to see me draw some awesome art, let's, uh, let's pull up. Here's our, our drawing. And so... What I'm going to do, let's see. All right, so here's the cloud. I'm going to change this color real quick. And the cloud, of course, if you've been following me, you know that the cloud is pissed off and angry. And uh, I'm thinking about trademarking that. So um, there's the cloud. So now between this site, which is the Sonic Wall site, and this site, we now have, let's see, it's a good color for VPN. Yeah, we use uh, this. We now have this encrypted site, as long as you don't have CIA affected software, that is able to send and receive data over the cloud in a secure fashion without this guy getting up in your business. So, I will uh, since I I will uh, put that uh, PayPal link down there if it's not up there. Um, once again, the Amazon links are down there, so if you need a USG uh, or any Unify gear, that's always available. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share, and we'll see you in the next video.